All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving question 47 from the first chapter of the Beer and Johnson textbook, Mechanics and Materials. And we have a load P that is supported by a steel pin that has been inserted in a short wooden member hanging from the ceiling. We have the ultimate strength of the wood, 60 megapascal in tension and 7.5 megapascal in shear. And the ultimate strength of this steel is 145 megapascal in shear so we have um all the information about all these dimensions d b c and at the end of this we need to determine the load p with an overall factor of safety of 3.2 so we are dealing with three different things in here two shear and one tension and which means we can find ultimate force p based on each of these and at the end of this question, we're going to go with the lowest and based on that and the factor of safety that we, we have, we can find the force P. So let's start with the, the shear in pin. So the shear that pin is going to experience is one in this surface. And we're going to have the same thing on the other side. So we have two surfaces that undergo this shear and we have... The formula ultimate shear is equal to ultimate force p over the area and we can call this area 2a and each a represents one of these shaded circles so if you want to find p you will basically have the shear times 2 times a so we have the ultimate shear in pin which is the steel that we have it's 145 megapascal or 145 times 10 to the 6 pascal times 2 the area that we have is the area of this circle which is pi over 4 times d squared and our d's uh, what we have in here 12 millimeters so 12 squared and it will be millimeters squared and we're going to have 10 to the minus 6 in order to get it in meters squared so these two will be cancelled out so we're going to have 145 times 2 times pi times 12 squared or 144 divided by 4 that's going to be 32,798 newtons or we can just do 32.8 kilonewton so that's our first uh, ultimate force p that we found based on this shear in pin so now let's go with the tension in wood and we have the ultimate tension we have another ultimate force p over the area and we have to watch for these areas because that's the trickiest part of this question and since the wood is in tension that means the failure is going to happen when the pin is located so we're talking about this surface here and obviously we have this hole in here and this surface and let me just show it in here we can see better so so the, the area that we have for that tension would be the area of these shaded parts. And we have all the information. We know that uh, this side is 40 millimeter. Let's get back to the question. So that would be 40. And we have the B, which is what we have in here, 40 millimeters. So this length is also 40 millimeter. And we also know the D or the diameter of the pin is 12 so if you want to find the area of those two parts we basically have our a would be 40 times 40 minus 12 which would represent these two sides and we're going to have a 10 to the minus 6 since everything is in millimeter so that way we can get it in meters square. And we know this is equal to the tension in wood, which is 60 megapascal. So this is equal to 60 times 10 to the 6 pascal. So we can find another P in here. So basically 40 times this will be 28 times 60 and 10 to the 6 and 10 to the minus 6 will be cancelled out. So let's see what we get for this. 40 times 60 times 28. 
that's going to be 67.2 kilonewtons. So, so far, the ultimate force in the previous part is our winner because it's the lowest. And if we go with the one that we found, the stage is going to fail the pin in the previous step. So, it's not going to work out for us. And the last ultimate stress that we have is the, is the shear in the wood and let's see which surface we are dealing with for that one so the surface that the wood is going to experience the shear is one in here so we have one rectangle in here one side is 40 and the other side would be what we have for c which is 55 but also we have the same thing in the other side so we have two of these rectangles we can call each of them a so we have another shear pu over 2a and our a would be basically the area of the rectangle which was 40 times 55 times 10 to the minus 6 meters squared and this will be equal to the shear that we have for wood which is the 7.5 megapascal so 7.5 times 6 pascal and let's figure out our p from this one 7.5 times 10 to the 6 times 40 times 55 uh, times 2. Keep in mind we have two of those rectangles and we have times 2 in here. 10 to the minus 6. Let's see what we get from here. So 2, point, 2 times 7.5 is 15 times 40 times 55. That's going to be... 33 kilonewtons and since it's a slightly bigger than what we found uh from the shearing pin this would be our winner and our ultimate p would be 32.8 kilonewton again we are going with the lowest just to make sure that it's not going to fail uh the other uh, members in this system so we have a factor of safety, which would be our ultimate P over P, and P is what the question is asking. So we're going to have PU over our factor of safety, 32.8 kilonewton. And the factor of safety was in the last line of this question, 3.2. So the P that we're going to get is... 32.8 divided by 3.2, 10.25 kilonewton. And the final answer for this question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And yeah, you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.